New research shows trust in the tech sector has declined and reached an all-time low in 17 out of 27 surveyed countries. According to a report from the global communications firm Edelman, trust in big tech fell 10 percent between 2019 and 2021. The U.S. saw the greatest decline, with the tech sector going from being the most trusted industry in 2020 to the ninth most trusted in 2021. Edelman CEO Richard Edelman joins us now for more. Richard, what are some of the the factors driving this dec this decline in trust. I think that uh, there's a sense of uh, tech being somehow responsible for the spread of disinformation and the greater risk of job loss. Uh, Eighty plus percent of people in our study said that they're afraid of losing their job uh, to machines, to uh, AI, and they're deeply concerned also about privacy and security hacks and other events um, have made them insecure about uh, whether or not their data is going to be actually private. So, Richard, I was actually surprised when I saw your report that the tech sector, big tech, was the most trusted industry uh, in 2020 and 2019. Uh, that's surprising to me because I, I, I know a lot of people who are already distrustful of big tech. Talk to me a little bit about the significance of the industry actually having so much American trust and how it fell so much in just the space of really a year or two. So the great sort of irony of this data is you know, here we are, you know, theoretically working remote more and um, relying more on tech and e-commerce. And at the same time, in the U.S., it goes from number one to number nine industry. Well, so tech was the big job creator. It was making our lives better. It was somehow you know, making a, um, a difference in our world. And this year, we had tech executives testify 15 times in Congress uh, in the last six months. And we had a big question about, is big tech too big? And also a real sense of rich tech executives, um, the enormous gains in the stock market, especially for the FANG stocks. So here we are um, in a place where tech moves from hero to villain, and uh, there's, I think, more downside potential uh, in the next couple of years. Hmm. Uh, the other thing that was very interesting about your report is the differences uh, from country to country. Um, the trust in the tech sector fell the most in the United States and China, I believe. Uh, talk to us about why that's significant and the countries in which trust in big tech still remains high. So tech is really well respected in Indonesia, in India, in uh, Saudi, in developing markets in general. And it's still quite high in China, but it actually fell by 15 points since May uh, to December uh, in, in tech in China. And I think the conflict uh, in China between Jack Ma, Alibaba owner, and the government uh, about his IPO of Ant Financial was a big factor in all of this. At the same time in the United States, we had a real concern about Facebook and Twitter and the election and news and quality of news. And again, people in their minds are deeply afraid. They're scared of being replaced and they only have to go to the drugstore or uh, to the retail outlet and see in fact that um, there are fewer jobs for people doing checkout, et cetera, because they're the machines. And there's no upskilling. There's no retraining. There's no solution being proposed uh, for these people who are going to be displaced. Hmm. Uh, I think whenever you throw big as an adjective in front of an industry, people automatically become uh, less trusting. If we're talking about technology versus big tech, it just it has a different connotation. Uh, still, your firm found that tech is most trusted globally overall among industries, despite these recent declines. What are some of the things that tech that the tech industry has been doing right, and what are some of the things that they ought to be doing more of to make sure? that they don't continue with this slide in public trust? So I think the one key statistic to have in mind is that between um, the trust overall in business and trust in tech, it was a 30-point gap 
as recently as six years ago, and it keeps shrinking and is now down to nine points globally. What does tech do right? Well, it's a big employer. It changes how we're able to do our lives. It makes our lives more simple. Um, clearly, if you invest in tech stocks, it's been a great year. <laughs> but the things that we have to do more of is accept some degree of government regulation, be welcoming instead of doing the Heisman and blocking off government. Also, be willing to accept some degree of uh, responsibility for more diversity within the industry. Uh, there's just too few people, black and Hispanic, uh, in management jobs in, in tech. Also, I think tech's got to be responsible for uh, upskilling. You know, if you're going to create a problem of people being tossed out of work, you've got to also give people a solution. There's one company service now that we work with actually that's doing a lot of retraining. And that's a function of uh, responsibility. All right, Richard Edelman, thank you. Thank you.